Wow. Well, everybody here from Kannapolis, North Carolina, beautiful sunny day, cloudy, whatever. It is a whopping 102. And I am in a polo and black pants. Don't ask me why I wear my black, I wore my black pants, but I did. Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Angelo from the T-Squad family. And today we are at the famous Stuart Haas Racing Museum or or whatever you call this, this is where all his cars are, uh, where, where the NASCAR cars are, I should say. Brief history of Stuart Haas. It is from Tony Stewart and uh, Gene Haas uh, racing. And they both came together and created Stuart Haas here in Kannapolis, North Carolina. I will tell you, if you are a Formula One fan, down around the corner there is the F1 building. Hopefully they're open and we can get to go and see it. We are here at Stuart Haas, and the reason why we are here is because this place will be closing this year. And I want to see, I want to get a quick look before they close permanently. What we got? Oh, yeah. Well, I will tell you, it is a lot more cooler in here than it is outside. I think it's 104 out. Welcome to Stuart Haas Racing. How beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I love that wonder car. Ooh, there's the Daytona 500 win when he won. Wow. This is it. This is the same car. I believe. I don't know what year that was. There, there you go. Look, everybody got to sign the car right there. 2017 winner, Daytona 500. I do want to say Tony Stewart, Stewart Haas Racing, um, because they both had interest in NASCAR. But now, this year, 2024, they will be closing the doors to NASCAR Stewart Haas, and I will not be touching. They will be closing because Gene Haas wants to concentrate on his F1 racing, his Formula One racing. And then, of course, Tony Stewart has other plans. Something I heard about drag racing, because that's where he started when he first started racing, was drag racing. So this is the last you'll see of Stuart Haas racing. Now, I'm not sure if this museum will stay open uh, while they retire the name or whatever you may call it. But this is in Kannapolis, North Carolina. Enough of me talking. Let's just walk around all these cars here. Well, if he's wondering, did he look at this? Did you see the, the Formula One car? There it is, right here. Yeah. I think this is the Formula One car. That's just one, yeah. There's Sandy. Hello, Sandy. Hello. Okay, there's the F1 Formula Guru. We just told them that there's a Formula One car here. Let's see what he has to say about it. Yes? Oh. Is it? Yeah, that's that is Formula One. That's so why is it? Yeah. Wow, look that's at that. Man. Yeah, no. And then you wonder why they're so four foot ten, right? How tall is Verstappen? Probably five ten. Hmm. Oh, so he's pretty tall. Most of them are probably between five ten and. 5'2". Okay. Look, that one has the halo, so that, that's that mm -hmm. got to be a newer one, right? Yeah. Actually, I, I know this car. It probably was like their 2020, 2021 car. Oh, so it's a newer vehicle. Okay. But, uh, yeah, it has a halo, so it has to be newer than at least. When did the halo first come out? Probably 2018, 2019. Okay. Wow, look at that. Well, look at that. Yep. 
that's the breakage. Yeah, the like it actually splits it probably so the way it goes into the intake. What's insane is um, the the floor. Uh huh. The floor is where you're gonna generate all of your downforce. So if you see all of those intricacies mm -hmm. in the floor, that's the most. The fins. Yeah, especially on a ground ground effect car. So you can see how far back. Mm -hmm. the ground goes. Yeah, the decking. So yellow means medium. Those are mediums. Mm -hmm. And that's the one that was in that horrible crash that caught fire when he was stuck in the car. Mm -hmm. saying that this is the sister car for I'll show you a video of the crash and most of you probably seen it on YouTube but here's a video of it and he was actually stuck in the car and um, the faces from everybody from engineers from all different teams sister car now it may not be the same year or anything but this is the one similar to this that crashed into that guardrail and can you imagine him being stuck in that car right there right there that was that miracle where he popped out We are on a racing team and we play Gran Turismo, but we recently we started uh, racing F1, which is Formula One, on PlayStation, and Richie, Blake, and about 10 other guys, which you'll see in October at the Rovo 400 in Charlotte, North Carolina for the NASCAR race, we're all gonna be there. And that's why we're so fascinated with that F1 car back there. And that's why Blake and Richie are still staring at it right now. Yeah, look at that, Stuart Haas. And then you see the Haas tooling. There is the NASCAR frame of a vehicle, how you would look, how it looks without any body on it. So back to this one, this is the open frame, like with nothing on it, no body. It goes from this to looking like that. Here's Josh Berry. If I'm not mistaken, Josh Berry, I think he signed with Stuart Haas to be the backup for Kevin Harvick, I believe. Wow, look at the tight space in here. No, thank you. Oh, this is, I believe, number 10, Noah Gregson. This is, so Noah races in the NASCAR Cup Series like Josh Berry does. And let's see number here. Oh, this is uh, Chase Briscoe. He also races in the NASCAR series. Uh, there's number 14. That's another vehicle of his. And the Wonder. I'm not sure who is this vehicle. But, oh, number 41. So, number 41 is Ryan Priest. So let's go to their trophies. I want to see all the trophies here. It'd be so cool if he came down here and said, hey, how's it going? Oh, but yeah, Dean Haas is very, very involved in his F1 series. So that's why he's never around this area. Just imagine, Tony Stewart or Gene Haas could be behind those barn doors. Oh, look at that. So these are all the trophies 
and awards they won during the race season. Could be five years ago, could be, you know, last week. Um, oh, there's Las Vegas. F1 is actually in Las Vegas this year. I know you're behind those doors. Wow, is it quiet in here? I'm actually whispering inside my mic here, so I'm not too loud. Here's some more. Oh, there is Gene Haas right there. Antony Store drinking a Coke. Or is that a Coors? Nope, it's a Coke. I'm just amazed on all the... Oh, I like that hat. I'm just amazed. Look at Tony Stewart. <laughs> Look at him when he was young. Look at all these trophies and awards. I love when you finish a race and you get to keep the... What is it called? The fat flag? I mean, I don't want to say typical, but typical... Oh, this is pretty cool. I remember one time, or reading about it, that they used to race on the beach of Daytona, uh, in Daytona Beach. They definitely don't do that now, but how cool would that be, just coming to a race and watching them race on the sand? Hey, like uh, Days of Thunder, when they were fighting. Oh, here's a back end of a Mustang. Uh, 98, I think, was... Uh, O'Reilly, I believe. You can also buy some tires here. And yes, these are all tires that were raced on. These are wet tires, by the way, because they have the traction. The smooth tires are usually raced on... Look at all this tar. <laughs> wow. I purchased one, but I was told by the wife to keep it in the shed because it smells so bad. Oh, there you go. Usually they mark what race it is on the back of the tire. Maybe I'll get another one. I love when teams post their banners and their success. I mean, look at this. These go back to a very long time ago. 2009, I thought. I think I saw. Look at all of them. Really cool. Mm-hmm. So what's in the mystery bag? <laughs> Is it worth it? Right, I'm going to grab one because I heard about... So these will have a hat in them um, just so you're not just really blindly buying stuff. And those obviously have labels of adult size shirts. Okay. So the ones without... The $10 ones without writing on them will be a hat. Other $10 ones will be a shirt. And then we have... $5. I'll take the one with the hat. Okay. There we go. I'll do that Same. one. Yeah. This will do it. I got history bag. Two bags for Richie and Blake. Richie, here you go. Here you go. Blake, here you go. Thank you. There's, it's a mystery bag one and two. I don't know what's in them. I just bought them for you. So you got to have to open it right here in yeah. front of the F1. You never know. It's a mystery bag. It's a mystery. Yeah, well, they don't want you to know what it is till you open it. Oh, Ford hat. Yeah. Sweet. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. Show us, Richie. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Everybody, I know it was a quick video. I just want to show you the Stuart Haas race, racing team before they actually close the doors. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I know 2024 is their last season here at Stuart Haas Racing. And um, so if you have not been here, if you want to come check it out before they close, I don't know if they're going to close. I don't know if this place is going to stay open. I guess I should ask. Um, but if you want to, Now's the time to come visit the Stuart Haas in Kannapolis, North Carolina, maybe 20 minutes from Charlotte, 10 minutes from the Charlotte Motor Speedway. But it's a good place to come to. This is just one of many videos I will be creating about NASCAR and their racing team and their museum. But hey, if you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, go a step further. Thank you for being here. Hit that bell and you'll get notified for videos like this. But I'm going to join the F1 clan over here. Catch you guys in the next video.